Sixth grade, module one, lesson five, problem set. Number one, last summer at Camp Okie Fun Okie, the ratio of the number of boy campers to the number of girl campers was eight to seven. If there are a total of 195 campers, how many boy campers were there? How many girl campers were there? So, number one, first, let's draw a tape diagram that shows the ratio of boy to girl campers. So eight to seven. Boys was eight. For girls was seven. There are 195 total campers. So the total, it all adds up to 195. So let's see how many parts there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 parts. We could also have just added the ratio. 8 plus 7 is 15. So let's do 195 divided by 15 to figure out how much each part is worth. So 15 can't go into 1, but it goes into 19 once. 1 times 15 is 15. Subtract and bring down the 5, we get 45. 15 can go into 45. 3 times, 3 times 15 is 45, so each piece is equal to 13. So I'm going to put 13 in all of the, the parts. So the boys will be 13 times eight three times eight is 24 carry the two one times eight is eight plus two is ten so there were 104 boys and then girls would be 13 times seven three times seven is 21 carry the two seven times one is seven plus two is nine so there are 91 girls Number two. The student to faculty ratio at a small college is 17 to three. The total number of students and faculty is 740. How many faculty members are there at the college? How many students? So we have student to faculty is 17 to three. So let's start by drawing our tape diagram. So student would be 17 to make these smaller. So there's 17 to faculty. A faculty is kind of like anyone who works at the camp, at, not the camp, at the college, like um, professors, teachers, people like that. Counselors. Okay, so 17 to three. The total of all of them is 740. So all of this adds up to 740. Let's see how many pieces we have. We have 17 and three. So there are 20 total pieces. Let's do 740 divided by 20 to figure out how much each part is worth. 20 can't go into seven, but it goes into 74 so it's three times. 3 times 20 is 60. We get 14, bring down the 0. 20 goes into 140 7 times. 7 times 20 is 140. If we subtract, we have nothing left. So each part, I'm not going to write them all in there, but each part is 37. So you get the idea. They're all 37 for each part. So if we wanted to figure out the students, we can do 37 times, how many were there? Four, 17? No, 17. 7 times 7 is 49. Carry the 4. 7 times 3 is 21. 
plus four is 25. Done with the seven onto the one for our placeholder. One times seven is seven. One times three is three. Add it together. We get 629 students. Now we just need to do the faculty. 37 times three. Three times seven is 21. Three times three is nine plus two is 11. So we get 111 faculty members. All right, number three. The Speedy Fast Ski Resort has started to keep track of the number of skiers and snowboarders who bought season passes. The ratio of the number of skiers who bought season passes to the number of snowboarders who bought season passes is one to two. If 1,250 more snowboarders bought season passes than skiers, how many snowboarders and how many skiers bought season passes? So the ratio is one to two of skiers to snowboarders. So skiers is one to snowboarders is two. So it's a one to two ratio. And it says that there are 1,250 more snowboarders. So this is 1,250 and it's only one part so we can just put 1,250 in there. So each part is 1,250 which makes it pretty simple on us. So we already know since the skiers is only one part, we want to know how many skiers there were. There were 1,250 skiers. And then snowboarders, it's 1,250 times two, or you could just add it twice. So 2,500 2, snowboarders. And number four, the ratio of the number of adults to the number of students at the prom has to be one to 10. Last year, there were 477 more students than adults at the prom. If the school is expecting the same attendance this year, how many adults have to attend the prom? So adults to students is one to 10. So the adults is one to students is 10. And it says last year there were 477 more students than adults. So this extra part here is equal to 477. So that's nine different parts. But let's split 477 into nine equal parts. Nine can't go into four, goes into 47. Let's see, nine times five is 45, so it goes in five times. Nine goes into 27 three times. So each piece is 53. So we wanna know how many adults have to attend the prom? It doesn't even ask about students. And we already know since there's only one piece of a, one part for adults, we would say that 53 adults must attend the prom. 